Hey guys, my name is Shane, and in this video we will be going through how to create a Halloween pumpkin in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to head over to the shape section to the left and choose the ellipse tool, or you can use the L key for short. We're going to drag out a circle, something like this, and then make sure you've selected an orange colour or any colour of your choice. I've included these colours here so you can just replace the codes and it will change the colours for you. So once you've done that, next thing we want to do is we want to be copying this and pasting it in the same place. So to do this, just simply hold Ctrl C and then Ctrl F which will paste it in the same place. Now what we want to do is, I want to drag these across left and right. So an easy way to do this is just using the arrow keys. So I'm going to be moving this across 10 spaces. So I'm just going to... So I've just moved that 10 spaces and then we're going to repeat that process with this original shape there and do it to the left. Now what this is doing is this is going to allow us to add some shadows. So select these two. We're going to arrange, so right click, arrange, centre back, press I to get the eyedropper tool. Oh sorry, so you can just use the codes but I'm just going to select these two here. Make them the black colour. Hold shift and select them both. And then head over to the opacity section. And we're going to set this as 20. Now what we're doing here is we're making a base piece here first. And then this will allow us to just duplicate it to create the pumpkin. So once you've done this, the next thing we want to do is we want to add the highlights. So again, control C and control F to duplicate this. We're going to hold shift and drag it out of the way just for a second. Once again, Control C and Control F. And now what we want to do is we want to just scale this down like so. And we just want to create this arch shape like this. Once you're happy with the shape, I'm just going to make mine a little bit shorter. So that, that will do. So we're going to head over to the Pathfinder to the right. We're going to click these three dots and select Divide right click and ungroup and select the excess bit like so once we have this shape we're going to drag this back over and we're now going to select the white colour make this opacity 10 and now we want to control C and control F again and we're going to hold shift and select and we're going to rotate this 180 degrees and drag it down to the bottom select like the shadow colour and this is just going to be 5% opacity I'll just make sure that it's fitting okay great so now we kind of have a base piece for the pumpkin so once we've got this we can group this and now we just have this piece and now again control C and control F to duplicate this we're going to drag this over to about here and then once again repeat that process Control c and Control f and then just drag this out just a little bit more we're going to send these to the back just so we can have a rough idea of how it, the shape so i think i want this one to come out just a little bit more like so i think i'm happy with that so now, with these two, we're going to select this middle piece, and we're going to use the up arrow, and we're just going to do that five times. And then with the final one to the right, do this ten times. So once you're happy with this shape, we can select everything, and what we can do is we can hold shift and alt, and we can just drag this over for a second. And now we can right click, we can go to transform, reflect, Make sure it's set to vertical and this will just duplicate the shapes we've made and we just want to overlap this with the center piece like so. So now that we have this shape there's just a few things we have to do to clean this up. So as you can see it's darker on this side so we just want to keep double click on here and we just want to remove that piece there to make it even and again we want to get rid of these two outer pieces here so I'm going to do double click select delete 
do the same with the left one. Double click, select, delete. I'm also going to be selecting these outer shadows. I'm going to reduce these to 15% just to give the illusion that it's a bit more in the distance. There we go. So now we have a bit of a base shape for the pumpkin. Next, I want to select the ellipse tool again. And we're just going to drag out, holding shift. Circle about that size. And we're going to select a green color. Yep. So I'm just going to duplicate this with Ctrl C, Ctrl F. I'm going to scale this down just a little. And we're just doing the same process we did with the orange bit. We're just going to create a little highlight. So with this back piece again, Ctrl C, Ctrl F. And I'm going to select the highlight color and set this to 10%, like so. We can select it all and group it. Right click, arrange, center back. And now we can just align this in the center. Like so. So now we have the base shape for the pumpkin. We can start working on the face. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the eyes. So again, L key or select the ellipse tool to the left. We're just going to drag out a circle like this. We're going to hold shift and alt to drag and we're going to drag it diagonally. And we're trying to get this moon shape like this. Select them both, pathfinder, divide, Right click, and we're just going to ungroup. We're going to remove the texture pieces here. Next thing we want to do is we want to scale this up a little bit actually, just because we need this to be larger than the eye as we're going to now duplicate this with Ctrl C and Ctrl F. We want to head over to FX, Path, Offset Path, and we want to set this to minus five. Now this is going to duplicate it at an offset within the shape. So I'm also going to select these as the shadow color. So the next thing we want to do is we want to select this shape here. And as you can see, there is an outline. We're going to go into object and we're going to click expand appearance. And now we can set the opacity to 50%. And for the outside piece, we're going to set the opacity to 35%. We also need to duplicate this shape again, Control C, Control F, the back piece, and we're going to set that as the orange color and leave the opacity at 100%. Make sure it's at the back. Now this is for when we place it on the pumpkin, it's going to overlap all these shadows. Okay, we can now select this piece here, we're going to just drag this down to the very corner, like so. We can group this piece and then holding shift and alt we're going to drag this across right click transform reflect vertical click ok these nice and close and we now have the eyes so we can just Control g group those together and we can leave these here for now so now we need to create the mouth to do this first thing we need to do is we need to select the pen tool you can do this by pressing the p key or heading over and just selecting it here. We need to draw out a line slightly larger than the size of the eyes, like so. Now once we've done this, we want to make sure that we've set it to a stroke. So as you can see here, we can use this arrow here and that will swap it to a stroke fill. We're then going to change the fill to 20. And we can now select the stroke here and this will give us another little widget. And we want to select round cap, which will just round off the edges. Once we've done this, press the plus key on your keyboard, or you can find the add anchor point tool to the left. And we're going to select the center here, which will add an anchor point. Now press the A key again, or you can find the selection tool here, direct selection tool. And we're going to select and drag, holding shift. We're going to drag this down like so. And we're going to select the circle here and just hold and drag this up until we get a nice smile shape. 
once we've got this we can now start to create the intersections so again pen tool just draw a nice small line like this it doesn't, it doesn't need to be big okay, slightly bigger and the first one we're going to place is in the center another useful tool is you can use the alignment tools so you can just drag it on but otherwise you could select both and then you can use these align tools here now these are really useful so right here you can align center and you can align this way now for other projects this would be useful but for this right now we don't need to do that we just want this to be in the middle like so and then we can simply control c and control f to duplicate and we're going to drag this across and we want to set this up here you can select and change the angle and we're going to rotate this by 15 degrees and we want this to fit nicely like so so it kind of intersects again control c control f this time we're going to make this 30 degrees actually we're going to make that 35 I think that will work better like so now we can select these three points we can control C and control F to duplicate we can right click transform and we're going to re reflect them vertically let's OK and now we just need to align these up like so and we can delete the duplicate we now have the base template for the mouth next select the whole mouth we're going to go over to object and we're going to select expand check fill and click ok we just need to once again select this piece press a and we're going to hold in shift select these four points and bring it in like so so once we've done this i'm now also going to just bring these pieces down a little bit i think it'll look better like so next once again select everything and head over and find the shape builder tool or you can use shift m for short and simply select everything holding down the left button and just this just makes it all one big shape first of all we're going to set the opacity to 35 and then we are going to duplicate this again with Control c and Control f we're going to make this opacity 50 and we're going to head over to effects path offset path and make this minus three it's about right then we just need to um, drag this up like so just to give it the illusion that it's carved out a little bit we're also going to go to object expand appearance next thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this back piece again we're going to go to arrange and center back and we're going to make that the orange color now we can select everything group them out together select the eyes group those together and using the alignment tools make sure they're aligned Now what we need to do is, we need to now place these over the pumpkin to the centre and we just need to scale it down like so and just find out where best fits so um, I'm pretty happy with that another thing we can do is we can move this out of the way again and I'm actually going to select the whole pumpkin group it and I'm just going to squash it down just a little bit just to make it look a bit more like a pumpkin place the face back on and there we go I'm now going to expand the appearance here I'm just going to scale this up a little bit drag it to the left and now alternatively 
if you would like to have the face glowing, simply make a duplicate. You can just hold Shift and Alt and drag this over. And we now need to just ungroup these pieces again, like so. Now selecting just the top pieces, we want to make these the yellow colour. And we're going to go over to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now this is also a very useful tool for making things glow. And we just want to set the radius to 5 pixels. And there we go, we now have a finished pumpkin, both lit and unlit. Now, I do recommend you also practicing and maybe making some other faces of your own. Try and see if you can create any different faces. Really good for practice and um, yeah, I hope you're happy with the finished result. I hope you learned something and I'll be back in the future with more videos. Take care guys, peace. <laughs>